are going to call the magic wall, all right? This is, okay, I don't know the process to do, so I'm just gonna ignore that. And guys, I wanna introduce you to someone who is running away right now. Ah! She's running away right now because she is looking. Like Welcome. She this is a narrative of Ian Kimani Mbugo, a shining star and a rising personality in the media industry. As a journalist with various uh, channels in the mid-2000s, Ian Kimani Mbugo became one of a sensation. Rising, talking, spreading news, and doing all the best that he could as, an, as a very brilliant young chap. Life indeed is a miracle. Magical indeed when all your faculties are in order and health is working towards your own advantage. And Ian became a superstar, building his future and having a promising career. And with time, began doing all the great things that any young, amazing, promising and talented, very skilled personality could do to put their career on the rising ladder. And Ian went out all to grow and develop the greatest of things that he was able to do. Life would have its own twists and turns, but Ian kept on holding it. And sooner or later, Ian was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And this was the beginning of the change to his brilliant career. Today, we look at the life of Ian as he came up in the media space and how all this has turned to be something very different. Follow me and listen up as we get to figure out what Ian has become and how indeed we can be of help to this story. Institution of Kenya, is some of the amendments that we can make, can they alter the document so much that it becomes something else entirely, just like writing another new constitution. Are there some very fundamental things in the constitution that if you change them, it will, the constitution will lose. We will just quit on trying to foster the unity between One Kenya Alliance and Raila Odinga. Maybe they should just go back to the drawing board and come up with something else altogether. But this idiot is called yeah, Liverpool. They thought, they thought, <laughs> they thought that they were going to be the best game of the day. But we came in and showed the world. We ain't kidding, we ain't kidding, we ain't screwing out this thing, but yeah. Tim Bogo here, former star of TV. <laughs> Feels so bad to say that right now because I don't, I'm not there anymore. But Niko Kwashida, and I need your help because Kamani Nikwa Nikwa Kufa. Otom Nikwa Nasema, oh, Kimani Nikwa Hivi, Kimani Nikwa Hivi. I'm not going to suffer in silence. Uh, but at the same time, Staki Kuondeshana Kama Mi Nataka Kuchangi or Pesa Kufana, any something bad. Uh, I fell ill in 2020. In 2020, I was diagnosed with bipolar mood disorder, and since then, my life fell apart. I have lost so many things, I've lost so many friends in the journey. Uh, people got tired of me, and I am at a position where most people are not willing to help because they say that they are tired but i got out of hospital literally last week and i feel my mind has come back to normal and i don't i don't want to go back to the place where i used to be so i am homeless <laughs> i'm homeless i'm literally i have my bag and i i'm out where i was leaving the people I was leaving with said uh, they couldn't host me for any longer, so they told me to look for an alternative. And I came to look for somebody else who could host me, and I didn't find. Uh, but I just need your help, please. If you if you can help me, please. Uh, I have a business plan here. At least I have a business plan here. Uh, this is this is my business plan. Uh, which I managed to put together in the last one week when I was out of hospital. And I have my first proposal for a client. I have my first proposal for a client here. And I have those two things. The, uh, the company structures and everything is set up. All I need is a business partner who is serious, who is going to bring in money and just have my ideas take off. Because I realized I could suffer in silence and not speak out and be depressed again and go back to drugs. I don't want to go back to drugs. I'm two months clean. I'm two months I haven't used any weed, haven't used any cigarettes. Those are the only drugs that I was abusing. And I, I finally got to a point of healing and I feel even though that I, I even though I'm homeless and I don't have money for anything, I don't even have a phone. I'm, I've just borrowed 
there's a beautiful woman here who, who has just offered me her phone because I, the people I was coming to to, to look for to get their help uh, they're not at home so and because you don't have a phone you won't know where they are so I just uh, asked for you know, to give me a phone and she did and uh, now I can send this video to my social media uh, to ask you guys for help with this bold and courageous social media post after Ian Bogwa had been in hospital for close to one year in the year 2020 I knew about him and many people came out to help. One such person is Obina and on this live show this gentleman speaks powerful words to men out here who need to be able to come back to humanity. Applauding Ian for being strong, courageous and bold to talk about the challenges that men are facing. Ian indeed has spoken for millions of people who are suffering in silence but without the courage to come out and seek for help. He was confident enough and he was man enough to come out and ask for help. And Kenyans being Kenyan, some of you started mocking, started laughing, started making jokes about it. But there are some Kenyans who have common sense who actually sat down and said, wait a minute, boy child is hurting, boy child made one, two, three wrong moves, let's sit back, let's regroup. We are leaving no man behind. Let's see how we can come through to help. And if you've helped him, thank you so much. God bless you. If you haven't, you should. Because this can be your son, can be your brother, can be your husband, can be your dad, or even your grandfather, or your cousin, or even a relative, or a best friend. All right? So you have to look out for that. And for the boys out there, it's about time we start looking out for other boys. Everybody has their own journey. True, and, true, true. And, and everybody makes their own mistakes. And... There, there seems to be confusion, and, and I, I want this to be clear to everybody. When you see somebody on TV, it doesn't mean they're earning millions. They're just True. doing their job, and everybody, sometimes you find that the, even the people who you think have so much money, they probably don't have as much. No. Yep. Yeah, and if there's a more money, more problems. And even the person you're seeing with a big car, they have big car problems. <laughs> problems just become bigger problems. <laughs> I wouldn't have had that money today True. if I didn't speak out. True. And the people I would have gone to, who 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 would have, would have gone, who might think that maybe you should have asked me first before you went uh, to speak about it on social media. I probably could not have probably could not have helped me with yeah. that money it's just chancing it's the same thing both of them are the same thing but i think the the most important thing that i got from 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 speaking out is as you have said a lot of people are suffering in silence i i have so, and i have given up my number people are calling me and we we are having conversations about how depression has affected them i was just talking about to a lady in naku her name is Zomboy. Yeah. she called me about about it she told me how she was depressed and unable to get out of bed and hurting and you've talked about the boy child boy yeah. child is hurting child is people hurting. are hurting and people <coughs> are doing drugs just to and stay high. And the community high. is bashing you. It's, it's yeah, the community is of, bashing you. You, yeah. you. you get ostracized. You, you don't have a place to run. His fans deeply concerned. In the footage, Kimani appears to be speaking inaudibly, raising concerns that he may be experiencing a resurgence of the mental illness he has been Guys, <laughs> you guys think this is a joke. Something is wrong with Kimani. If you watched Kimani's live, something is wrong with this guy. We need somebody to check up on this guy. We need somebody to check up on Kimani Mbuku. That you actually went mad, right? But yeah. let's just go back. To yeah, I think for me where it all began, I think where I, I realized things had gone really wrong mm -hmm. was uh, I talk about it in the podcast when I was driving home with my fiance at the time. Most of you are familiar with his face. Uh, he has graced our TVs, our screens for a while. Sini, like, it, it feels like last week to live Kamuaka and, and now like December again. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. When you're suffering in silence, eh? <laughs> you, you, you don't... What can make you possibly want to go back and be famous? Kimani. <laughs> And just like that, a young, brilliant, talented journalist building up a career had flipped to the other extreme, 
based on their soundness of their health. Mental illness had taken its toll on this young man. And today on his socials, it is such a radical turnaround. Many do not understand. His followers are confused and Ian is definitely losing it. He needs our help. He needs his friends, his colleagues, people he worked with, people he knows. Maybe people are tired of trying to help. I do not know. But we cannot give up because this story resonates with the thousands of others who might not be out there in the public domain. But Ian has a spoken and represents so many more. I say that. Anybody who owes me money, if you owe 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 me money, my number is 0741. I need your help. I know I've been abrasive. I have said many things. I have insulted people. I'm angry. I'm very angry. But the truth is, I just need 55,000 shillings. I need 55,000 shillings to buy something very valuable from Elon Musk. My engagements with him cannot continue if I haven't bought that very valuable thing. Any chance yangu ya kuomoka? Lakini kamati Kamati ya roho chafu, nyinyi wa Kenya. Umeona vile mko na roho chafu? Huu ni Elon Musk na ungea na ye hapa. This is his real number. Mpaka, mi mtawaekea namba yake. I'll put his number here. So that you can confirm. This is his number. For those of you who want to. So that you can confirm. Let's get Safaricom. Wait. I'll get the 55,000 shillings. Now get Mr. Musk to come in Kenya. I'm a man, I'll take care of it. I'll get it. If you're a man, send me 55,000 shillings. And you and I, you will become my deputy president. If you send me 55,000 shillings, I will make you my deputy president. And so, who will speak for those who are suffering in silence? Ian has gone overboard onto his social medias, but indeed has communicated a lot to the world out there. Do we have universal health standards? Do we have support systems? Do we have mechanisms in place to keep people healthy, sane, and living? 